Okay, there are 250 blue and red pens in total in a box. Um, we're told that 40% of the blue pens are removed and 70% of the red pens are removed. And the total number of pens left in the box is now 129. The question we are asked here, okay, is how many blue pens were there at the start? Okay, so that's what we want to know. How many blue pens were there at the start? Right. Um, for those of you that recognise this, um, might think, oh, right, I would do a, a simultaneous equation in order to work this out. Um, well, that's really what we're going to do as a bar model. Um, so bar modelling is just a way to draw things in order to see what to do. So um, let's have a, a go at drawing this out then. So we've got red and blue pens. Um, I'm going to start up here and draw a representation of the beginning situation. So we've got red, so I'm going to draw a block to represent that. We're dealing in percentages, so I'm going to draw a block of 10. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. There we go. All right, so that's my um, red at the beginning, just so they are, I'm not going to bother drawing in the lines here, so that's a block of 10. I'm using these squares as my um, divisions, my units. Um, okay, and the blue, we've got the same. Okay, so blue. Now, when I say the same, we don't know what the value, the absolute value is of these blocks. So, um, so there may be more blue pens than red pens or more red pens than blue pens. We don't know this. So um, this size is not the equivalent to this, okay, this or this value, all right? But I, I know that as the drawer of the model. So that's the sort of thing that you need to keep in your mind when drawing your models. Right, okay, so what do we know about this? We know that this has a value of 250, okay. So far, so good. OK, what else do we know? We know that 40% um, of the blue pens are removed and 70% of the red pens. OK, so let's go. We've got, I'll do them red, blue again. So what did we have? 70%. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. OK, so I'm now drawing a model to represent what was removed. Obviously I could sort of shade things out here but I'd like to redraw it um, and blue 40% are removed. There we go. All right now we know that 129 um, were left so 250 subtract 129 gives us 121. So we know that the value or the amount that was removed was 121. This is 121 pens. This is 250 pens. We don't know how many of either. Okay, what else do we know? I could also draw this. I could draw what was left. So um, I'm going to do, so if that was 70%, we know that 30% of the red were left. Okay, we know that 60% um, of the blue, so there we go. So that's what was left. Okay, so this is a hundred and 29. So this is the, the start, okay, this is what was removed and this is what was left. Okay, so what else do we know? Well, let's have a, a, a look back at this model. If 10 of these and 10 of these equal 250, then it follows that I'm going to just draw this over here. So that one of these and one of these, okay, it follows that 
that must be one tenth of this amount. So that's 25. OK, we know we can we can tell that a pair of them would equal 25. And if that's the case, because I can see here, if I could get rid of these three reds and the and three blues, I would just be left with blues. So let's have a look. So what would we have? We would have if that's 25, then this. OK, three reds and three blues is three times 25, which is 75. OK, so what I can do now is say, OK, if I could take this 75 away from this model here, so I'm going to, this is cancel out one pair, that's one pair, two, three, okay, I have removed 75 pens from the total. So we've got 129 subtract 75, okay, and that gives me 54. So I now know that what would be left is 54 and that's three of these parts of blue okay so 54 then divided by 3 which gives me 18 that gives me the value of each of these blocks of blue and we're actually asked um, how many blue pens were there at the start okay and if each of these has represents 18 blue pens then 10 of them which is what we had at the start must be 180 so that's our final answer 180 blue pens